Thanks for tuning in to watch The Ordinary Filmmaker. It's Tuesday, December the 28th, 2021. Canon DSLRs are dead, and what I mean by that is Canon is moving away from DSLRs. They're not going to be coming out with any new models. And how do I know this? Is this pure conjecture? No, it's fact. You see, this comes from the chairman and CEO of Canon, Fujio Mitari. And he was recently doing an interview with a Japanese newspaper. It's called Yumari Shimbun. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. But in that interview, he was asked about DSLRs, the future of DSLRs. And many of you have asked me, Simon, will there be a successor to the 90D in DSLR? Will we see any other DSLRs coming out? Well, here's what Matari Sun said. It's natural that mirrorless cameras will become mainstream digital cameras. The market needs to accelerate this shift to mirrorless cameras. And in line with this, we are steadily shifting our manufacturing. This was all written in Japanese. The interview is in Japanese, so we're using Google Translate to get this information. So the wording might be off a little bit. And I agree, it's not completely clear in this quote, but he goes on further in the interview because the interviewer pressed him a little further, and he said this. Canon's SLR flagship model known as the EOS 1 series, the first of which appeared in 1989, the latest model, the EOS 1DX Mark III, released last year, will be the last model. Okay, let that sink in for a minute there. The 1DX Mark III, released in January of 2020, or announced in 20, January of 2020, is the last DSLR. There is going to be no other DSLRs, and I've been saying this for a while, based on everything I've heard, everything that I'm seeing, I just it doesn't make sense that we're going to see any follow-ups. The Canon 90D, I don't believe we're going to see any sort of DSLR, and that makes sense. I didn't think we were going to see any uh, continuation of the 1DX Mark III. We're going to get the R1. And here we have it now from Canon's CEO and chairman, Fujio, 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 Fujio Matari, has confirmed and said, that's it. We aren't going to produce any more DSLRs, any new models, and we're going to wind down production. So for the next couple of years, they're just going to stop producing any DSLRs, and it's going to be completely onto the mirrorless line. So what does this mean? What is the future? Well, very simple. The future is in the RF mount. Canon has said this many times. They're focusing development on the RF system, or sorry, the RF mount on the R system. And that's a full frame mount at this point. However, there are many rumors, very valid rumors, that indicate that Canon's going to be coming out with APS-C R mount cameras in 2022, as many as three potentially. And that is to replace the 90D, the, the 7D, and who knows what else. But the rumor is right now for three, we don't have specifics as to what those cameras will be. The future is going to be on the arc mount. As I said, Canon has said this many times. All the development is going to be focused on that. Uh, lenses for the EF mount, Canon will still produce those as long as there are sales, and Canon will keep producing cameras. But after about two or three years, according to this interview, Canon's going to be done developing for the EF, EFS, and EFM mounts. And that's pretty staggering. But it really shouldn't be a surprise. Look at this marketplace from a high in 2011 of, what, 22 million units being sold to this year. We're barely able to hit. Maybe 6 million units sold. We were hoping for Sony and Nikon to help pick up the market a little bit. Uh, waiting to see SEPA numbers for November and December. But the way things are looking, it doesn't look very good for this year. It looks like this year is going to be worse than last year. And as Canon predicted many years ago, it looks like this market may eventually get down to 5 million units a year of ILC cameras. And that's not a lot. That's a fourth, less than a fourth of where it was just 10 years ago. So it makes sense for Canon to consolidate on a single mount. I know, I know the KISS cameras and various other low-end DSLRs, they are still selling very, very well, as are some EFM cameras. But when Canon looks at worldwide and having different dyes and mounts and concentrating on multiple different systems, well, the writing's on the wall. They're going to follow what Sony did and stick to a single mount, and I think it makes an awful lot of sense. Whether you agree or not, whether you, if you don't like this move, I'm sorry, this is where Canon is going. This comes right from the horse's mouth. Well, no, it kind of sounds wrong to say that. It comes directly from the chairman and CEO of Canon, and this is the future. The, we aren't getting any DSLRs. If you were hoping for that 5D Mark V, a follow-up to the 1DX, or even a follow-up to the 90D and a DSLR, it's not happening. So this should at least help you now develop your roadmap of where you want to be. If you're currently on a DSLR, 
where does that take you? Do you stay within Canon if you have the 1DX Mark III, 1DX Mark II, or a 5D series? Are you waiting on the R1? Let me know in the comment section down below because the R1, we're supposed to get teased about it this year. Who knows if it comes out or not this year? The rumors are saying, yes, maybe in the late quarter, kind of like what Nikon is doing with the Z9, but we, we really just don't know. It's pure speculation at this point because even though that may, might be Canon's plans, a lot could happen to slow things down and change all that. Oh, and one last thing too, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help this channel grow. But most of all, um, well, it gives me a virtual pat on the back and a way of you saying thanks to me. And also, if you're looking at buying any gear like any of the cameras I mentioned, please use my affiliate links down below. I get about 2% back, which goes to support, supporting the channel. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. That's all there is for today. Have a great rest of your um, week and uh, a happy new year to you if I don't produce another video until then. It so, seems like this week we're getting a lot of information coming out. Anyhow, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.